Okay, after dealing with the invariable nouns, we come to deal with the variables. Variables means vary, means we can't change it from singular into plural. In this section 4.36, we are going to, to take the uh, regular plural. Of course, uh, most of us uh, know what is meant by regular plural. In English, like uh, in other uh, languages like Arabic or German uh, or uh, Urdu, it is easy to make the, uh, in comparison with these languages, it is easy to change the language from, or the noun from singular into plural by adding either what, either let's say S or ES. So, to the word, like, for example, if we have, say, room, we know that we have to add what? To have, uh, to add S to change it from one singular room into more than one, the uh, uh, room, the house, contains the three rooms, for example. So we add S. Or sometimes we add ES, especially after the sibling sounds. Means if the word end with S or Z or SH or CH or X, we add what? E, uh, ES. So if we have just one fox and we make it a plural, we say foxes. And we, you know this. And if we have one, we say watch. One watch, this is the watch, and that one on the wall, we call it clock. So if we have watch, one watch, we make it into what? Into watches. If we have one wish, I wish you the best, say, wishes, we add ES, uh, etc. with other, we call it, this is a part of regular, means we add S. And sometimes we change the uh, Y at the end of the word into what? Into S. For example, if I have, let's say, uh, cry, you know, cry, not as a verb, as a noun, cry, just one cry, scream. So one cry, we change it into what? Into cries. We change this in Y into what? Why? Because this, uh, this Y preceded by what? By consonant. But if it is preceded by uh, vowel, we do not change. Like drama or play, we say play, we say just plays. We do not change this Y. Why? Because this Y preceded by what? By uh, a vowel. Here it is uh, pre uh, here uh, preceded by what? By consonant. That's why we change it into Christ. While here, play, we keep uh, 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 just we add S. This is what we call variable concerning the regular. What about the compound words? Still we have regular plural, but with the compound words. Compound words means we have, or when we form one uh, meaning from two words. Like, for example, we say bath, room. We have bath and room. We have arm and chair. We have green and house. Means two or even more, or could be more, uh, more, four items in English, they consist one word. So in this case, how do we change, or how to change the singular into plural? In fact, here we have three categories. Either we add or we change the first element and we keep the second, or we change the last item, or we change both of them. So, for example, the first, we have man of war. Man of war means the, sol the, the soldier. In, in this case, we change this one, and we say man of war. See, man of war, or passerby. Passerby, say passerby. Abr Sabi, we say passerby. We change this one, say passers. Passers, and then say by. Passers by. We change this one. So either we change the first or we change the second one. Means, for example, women hater. Women hater come from hate. The person who hate or uh, dislike the women. We say women hater. In this case, we change the second. We keep the first one and see women say haters. Women haters. We change the second part. Here we have two parts, and we change the second. And, uh, by the way, the first one, mother-in-law, consists of three elements, mother, abla. We say we change the first one. We say mothers-in-law. So here also we change the second one. For example, fountain pen. We say fountain pens. So we change the second one. Or to say boyfriend. We say boyfriends. So here, or we change both the first element and the second one. For example, if we have man servant or woman servant, the man who is working as a servant, 
or uh, the woman who is uh, also working as what as uh, a servant. We say man servant, we change them both. We say men see man into servants. See men and servants. So then we have concerning the compound. If we have more one element consisting one word, either we change the first group, we change the first element, or we change the second element into plural. Or finally, we change both elements. If there are two or more, we change the first and the last element. Here, concerning what? Concerning the regular plural. Concerning the regular. What about the irregular? In fact, we have long list of irregular uh, plural, all uh, mentioned in this section. The first type of irregular plural, for example, when we change the word uh, from, uh, especially ends with F. So if we have a word with, for example, wife, we change this into what? Into wives. Means we remove this F into V, then we add ES. While in other cases, for example, the word belief, though it ends with F, but we keep it as what? As belief. Please, what I want you, and this is your uh, uh, task, to see what are the words that we can change into uh, V plus ES, and what about the list of words that we keep the F? And we have an area in between, means we have the same words, we can keep them, or we can change, uh, change them. So it depends on the meaning of the word. This is the first category of <coughs> words that are regular plural. The second type of irregular in 3.40, we call them a mutation plural. Here we have, a, a, let's say, fixed fixed word, fixed items, limited items that we change the, uh, the word. For example, if we have the word goose, we change into what? Into geese. Goose, geese, food, feet, tooth, teeth. See, these words, man, men, woman, woman. So these words, we call them mutation plural, means we have limited words. We change them from the singular into plural. Finally, we have what we call en plural. Certain words also, when we change them from singular into uh, plural, we are just en. For example, the word child, we say child, we say children. Child, we say children. Or ox, say we say oxen. Ox, oxen. Or brother, it is possible to say brethren. Means not only brothers. So we call them en plurals. Other types of plural, for example, especially words derived from other languages. For example, stimulus, stimuli. Curriculum, curriculi. Hypothesis, hypotheses. And so data, datum. Crisis, crises. All these we call them uh, different or foreign plurals. In fact, still from 41 up to 3.57. All these types of what we call irregular plural, I want you to check. These are, uh, uh, in fact, this is not uh, a new information. You uh, dealt with the previous stages about these types. But nevertheless, they all included and you are uh, in charge of these types of irregular uh, plurals.